everybody. It's Colleen with Chalk Tour. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. I'm just trying to get my iPad going here. I was really excited to come in with this project. So let's just share this real quick. All right. Hi, Tammy. Okay, my desk is a hot mess and I apologize. It's, uh, I guess that's true what they say when you're kind of in a creative moment. Everything kind of gets thrown around, but I was kind of excited. I, I just pull my chair in. I, um, I hit the dollar store, actually. I had a half a day from work. Um, so on my way home, I hit the dollar store for some last minute goodies that I needed for an event tomorrow. And I came across... These cute little guys they're so sweet these are little wooden and I've got paper towels under them which promptly stuck but these are little wooden snowflakes and Christmas trees that um, that I found at the Dollar Tree and I was kind of excited I had an idea as soon as I saw them in the store let me get rid of all this paper towel because I think they're dry now I came home and very quickly painted them all white. Let me just move this. I put a nice uh, light coat of white on there. So, um, and then I have my buffalo plaid. I'm so happy I finally got this. I have been coveting this one for a long time and finally just treated myself. And what I did was, it actually, it's even bigger, but I cut it down. I cut a, like a slice off of it because what I want to do is just cut little um, sections out of here and I thought this would be great to put in little kits I love I've seen a couple designers do different things with the buffalo plaid and um, using them to create little um, I forget what they're called little gnomes and little Christmas trees so many different things you can do with them but that's that's not the point that I'm trying to get to today today I found these and I immediately thought I want to put buffalo plaid on these guys so what I did let me just move some of these. I'm going to start with the Christmas tree. So I literally just had, uh, let me grab it. I'll show you what I used. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So I literally just have like a quart of white paint. It's, it's interior. Hi, Rhonda. It was, I bought this, I think, to do my baseboards, if I remember correctly. It's just semi-gloss, and I apologize, the can's a mess. Semi-gloss, pure white, interior paint, and primer. So it's a primer and paint in one. So, and I just took a little, um, little one of these little dupers that I got in a, in a multi-pack, I think at Michael's or something on sale. So I came in and I just put a light coat of white on here. I got all around the, the tips and everything too. Um, and that's dry because the, the um, hi Mary. The, the wood is so thin, so it doesn't take any time at all to, um, to whitewash that. So here's the thing I can do. So I do have, hey Jessica, I do have red paint, so I could put some of that on and then um, make my Christmas tree red. But for this purpose, I think, and I have plenty of them, so I may do that with another one. Um, or I could take, I have... This is dark walnut wood finishing, and I could literally, this jar is a mess too. I could dip my paper towel in here and just um, put some of the stain on here. And that would give it some, um, just some, some oomph to it, if you will. Uh, what I'm going to do actually, however, I'm just going to put my wax on it. I'm going to leave it whitewashed because I want to use the buffalo plaid. How are you, Jessica? Hello. Um, so I'm just going to wax it. So in order to do that, oh, I need my little handy dandy thing. Hold on one sec. I have to say that, you know how when you're in the checkout at like Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, and they have all those little gadgets to try to get you to buy them at the checkout? This is a great little gadget to have. This thing is amazing. It literally is just a paint can opener. Whoops, I really didn't need it, but... Um, this has been one of my life-saving tools to get my cans of paint, stain, and wax open. And, oh, that does not smell pleasant, but hopefully we will be using it very quickly on and off. 
So, and I would normally wear gloves for this, um, but I think I used up all my gloves. So I'm just gonna use paper towel. So I'm just gonna take this in here. Hi, Stacy. I'm just going to get my paper towel into my, and this is natural min wax finishing wax. So I have my little Christmas tree painted it white and now I'm going to wax it. So I'm literally just going to put the wax all over the top of this. And the reason that I'm doing that is to protect my transfer because um, I don't want it. This is not the best quality wood. It's Dollar Tree folks. Let's be real. So it's not going to be, you know, top of the line wood that you have to not wax even though even good wood I would still wax. Just because I'm fearful, I don't want my transfers to get ruined. So I'm just putting this layer of protection between this wood and my transfer. And then, if all goes well too, I, I think that you can remove, I really haven't honestly tried that, so I hate to, to announce that, but I have heard that you can remove, oh, I got a little dot of red here, darn it. That was probably on my fingers from touching that red paint. I'll bet you. All right, I'm just going to try to blend this a little bit. And it's going to get covered anyway when I put the uh, transfer on. Darn, I hate that. Oh, well. Moving right along. Um, I forgot my train of thought now because I got distracted by the red dot. What the hey was I saying? Um, I forget. We're just going to move along. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh man, I know, it's a tiny little dot, but it should be okay. Um, oh, I know what I was saying. So, um, I have heard that you can remove, yes, thanks Jess, that you can remove the chalk paste if you wax the board. Now, um, again, I've only tried that, I didn't even really try it, so I can't even give 100% on this, but I would think if you're using a dark color, chalk paste it's going to be a little bit harder to remove because wood is going to soak up the chalk paste I think a little bit so I can't guarantee any of that all that I can tell you is that I wax it basically to protect my transfer so that it doesn't stick doesn't get little splinters of wood onto the transfer so having said that let's go ahead and I'm going to label the back because this is the first time I'm using this I'm so excited so I'm going to put nice, big, the word back. So I know to return my transfer to the, the correct side of its carrier sheet. And sorry, my hands are all waxy now. Um, and because this is a rather large transfer, I mean, it's not super large, but it's large enough that we want to take our time removing the carrier sheet from the transfer itself. And this, my friends, is going to be very sticky because it is the first time using it and because I have so much crap on my desk I'm running out of room let me just slide that stuff over slide you over because I'm really taking my time because I love this transfer and I do not want it to stick to itself if that should happen which it has happened many times to me just get your transfer right into a pan of water and let it soak and um, slowly pry it apart. I'm just going to move this out of here. Um, and then just slowly work it apart to, um, to get it unstuck. So let me grab a towel. I have a nice fuzzy towel that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to kind of plop that down. And what I'm doing is I'm putting lint on to the back of this transfer from my towel. Again, do this very carefully because here is where I make my most mistakes. And we're going to give it a little, as, wait, what do we say, Jess? We're waxing our arms. Whenever your arm sticks, it pulls off some of your hair. That's how sticky it is. So you get a free wax out of the deal when your arm sticks to it. So like I said, just be really careful. This is where most of my mistakes come into play when I am trying to fuzz up my transfer. Now the other thing is you can just take this and put this on your shirt or on your pants, just something that's gonna pick up some lint. And you may notice there's a little bit of sticky here on the front and that's okay. That's gonna probably come off as soon as I get this transfer into water. 
So I'm going to fuzz this a couple times just because I want to be extra sure. And I would say definitely err on the side of caution if you are using this your transfer on glass for the first time. That one you definitely want to make sure. Look, you can see my my um, Happy Hanukkah on here. Isn't that funny? It's, st it's still on my towel because I haven't washed my towel since I made that project. Um, I keep like, I'm like a, what's the word I'm looking for today? I'm like squirrel. Everything is like getting my attention and I keep jumping from thing to thing to thing. Because uh, I'm excited. When I get excited, I get like that. All right, let's see. You know what I'm going to do is one more time, just because I want to be extra sure. Let's do it one more time. I'm really, really pressing on there, so that way I'm getting all the fuzz. Getting all the fuzz on there. All right, I'm going to put my towel on my lap. We're going to bring back our Christmas tree. Now, I have seen this is, um, and you know what I keep saying? It's herringbone. I don't know why I keep saying the other thing. It's not. It's herringbone. Good Lord. It's not buffalo plaid. It's herringbone. So now that I've got that straight and we're actually talking about the right transfer, let's get this on here. I'm just, just kind of trying to, to get this so that I've got everything covered. And I want to get some of the detail up here. I was starting to say, I've never used one of these transfers, whether it be herringbone or buffalo plaid. I've seen it used, um, but I have not personally used it. So we're going to give this a whirl. This will be our first time together. I think I've got everything covered on here. This is kind of sticking, but I have contact paper down here, so it should be okay. It's not going to stick too much. And what I thought that I would do is use our storm to make the herringbone. Let me get that right this time. Not buffalo plaid. We do have buffalo plaid. I don't have buffalo plaid. If I want to say buffalo plaid is coming back in stock today, if I'm not mistaken. So let me stir this up. So with our chalk paste, we are looking for the consistency of yogurt. If you are finding that it's looking a little bit lackluster, you can always add a little bit of water to it, but this is perfect. See how I just stirred that? And don't be shy. Stir it nice and vigorously. It's okay. And then you're going to get that nice consistency. Just add a little bit of water at a time if you need to get it to that consistency. So there we go. Hi, Heidi. Okay. Just checking to make sure I don't have any more red paint. I, God forbid, want to put that on my transfer. I don't want that to happen. I get a quick sip of iced tea. I'm talking and talking and talking. It's making my mouth dry. Okay, there we go. I'm excited. All right, let's see. Get a little bit of chalk paste on here, and I'm just going to try to, this is going to be a little tricky, because I'm just trying to get the Christmas tree, which is underneath this. I hope this isn't a colossal fail, but we'll see. We'll figure it out together. I'm just taking all of that right down across the transfer and it's kind of hard to see if you're looking right now but there is a little Christmas tree buried under all this herringbone and that's what I am trying to cover with this okay pulling that down when you apply a little pressure it's gonna pull your paste down even further how are you hello Linda Davis Rose how are you Heidi I'm excited. I had a half a day from work today, so it's just the little things for me. And then finding these awesome things at the Dollar Tree. That really, that made my day. So let's keep going. We're going to just cover this up all the way to the bottom with our little Christmas tree that's hiding under our herringbone here. Just pulling that all the way down. And you can see as I'm applying pressure, it really just slides it right down right across. Almost to the bottom of our little Christmas tree here. I thought that this would be really cute too because they it comes with like twine at the top of it. And um, I have a vendor event tomorrow and I thought these would be cute because uh, Jessica was kind enough to lend me her tent because we may have a little rain. But I thought these would be cute to hang from the tent. So that would be fun. And then when my vendor event's done, I'm going to turn it around and use it in my house as a decoration in my home. So it's going to get a lot of use, that's for sure especially if it comes out good. So 
but we are almost done. I'm trying to work quick, trying to work quick. I'm walking on finishing up packing for a mail run. And then I get chalk. Yay! Chalk and fun. Okay, we're down here to the bottom of our little tree stump. And then I just got this one little corner. I'm trying to work quick so that my chalk paste doesn't dry. And one last piece here. And I think, I think, I think we've got it. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous and excited and crossing my fingers all at the same time. Let's see how this comes out. Now. Oh, I did it. I love it. Look how cool. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Get off, get off, get off. It's stuck to my table. All right, I'm not panicking. I'm not pulling too hard. And I ran out of fingers. Let me slide that over. I'm gonna lean that down. And then I'm gonna pull this away. Ta-da! Yay! I think that looks so awesome. Let me just put my transfer right into water. I have my water pan sitting off to the side here, so I'm gonna stick that right in there. And now my fingers are wet, so I wanna dry that. I love it. I love how that came out. That looks so cute. And then, like I said, there's a little string here, but I may, um, I have some holiday ribbon. I may change that out, but I think that's so cute. And wouldn't that look really cute in red? I might have to try that instead of painting the actual, um, Christmas tree. Sorry. My pattern back here is very busy, so it's kind of clashing. So I'm going to hold it up. Um, I could even use, uh, Candy, uh, candy apple red with the herringbone that would look super cute or even evergreen I mean you can change it up to do all different kinds of colors I just wanted to start out with um, gray just to test it and I'm gonna do it on the back as well once this side dries so that it will be two-toned how cute is that and you could do the buffalo plaid too so that is awesome yes waxy works waxy works it definitely works um, you definitely want to to wax any wood surfaces that are not chalk couture, that is for sure. Even if they're great, like top of the line, I don't even know what top of the line wood is, like pine, maple, walnut, I don't even know what the top of the line is. I would still even wax that. But like I said, this is um, a cheapy guy from the dollar store. Let me put my, let me put my towel down so you can kind of, so you're not getting overrun by my busy pattern on my desk here, so that you can see it a little bit better. How stinking cute. I love that. And I've got three more to do. I think, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do the um, the front and the backs of these. And then I may try, I'm going to try the snowflakes. How cool would that be in like our, um, oh, what is that below? The midnight sky to do the herringbone. Um, midnight sky on here. That would be so pretty. And like I said, I'm going to do double sides. Yep, Mary, I wax everything too. I'd rather err on the side of caution, you know? Wish we had a, had a dollar store. Oh, Stacy, how is there no dollar store in Marlton? That's crazy town. You have to, um, to come down my way and, uh, hit the dollar tree. We have so many of them. Um, we have dollar general, dollar tree, um, Everything a dollar, a couple different ones I think we have around here. Yep, not CC boards, but everything else. Same, Mary, I'm the same way. So I don't want to ruin my transfers. And you can already see, like, I don't know if you can, but like where they punch the hole, there's little pieces of wood sticking up. I don't want that on the back of my transfer, for sure. Do not want that. So for me, just waxing it is just that little extra step. And I have had this can of wax since I joined Chalk Couture on July 31st, 2017. So that just tells you how long that lasts. And you can see that there's still plenty in there. It does not take a lot of wax at all. Just a little bit. So, alrighty. I'm excited. I'm going to continue on with these so that I can hang these up tomorrow um, at my vendor event. And then, I don't know if I'm going to keep this ribbon or if I'm going to change it out. I may change it out. And then, uh, is fall family, yes, the, well, Family Dollar isn't like a true, true dollar store. Family Dollar has stuff in there that's not just a dollar, but they have some pretty cool stuff in there too. But this, where I got these was Dollar Tree. Um, 
so and everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar so I got these I got um, I mean it's crazy what what you can get at the Dollar Tree these little cute and they match Chuck tour these little bins which are perfect I put all my make and take stuff in here for tomorrow's event everything fits perfectly I have little chalkboards speaking of dollar store chalkboards are great for make and takes um, so I put everything in here and that's perfect for tomorrow yes Stacy red ribbon would look amazing on there and I actually I think Hold on, I think I have red ribbon. Let me just check. I actually have, that's going to be too big. I need little ribbon. I'm pretty sure that I do have red. I just have to find it. Um, but I had, I had gotten this cute ribbon. But like I said, I think that this is going to be a little too big. How cute is that? It's got snowflakes on it. That, look how that pops on there. The red is definitely the way to go, Stacy. The red and gray pop so pretty. All right, I am going to keep rocking and rolling off camera, finishing up my little projects, but I wanted to come in and just show you how cute that was, and I apologize I kept saying buffalo plaid. It's not buffalo plaid, silly. It's herringbone. Herringbone is what I have. Buffalo plaid is coming back in stock today, I believe. I'm going to double check that. Um, but I want to say it is. I looked at the list so many times I can't keep up with what was on it. But tons of stuff returning. I want to say 29 transfers that were out of stock are all coming back today. So I will put the link to my online store below. Um, if you are not a designer, I'd be happy if you'd share my video. Additionally, if, if you are not a designer and you would like to be on my VIP page, because I'm going to give you a little tip. I'm going to have some specials on there very soon besides the one that I have on there right now. So stay tuned. And if you're not a designer and you want to be on my VIP group, just comment VIP below. Stace, you have a great day as well. And um, I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your Friday. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.